Okay. The rate of change of the population, again, is this. There's a K and a T, which is kind of annoying. You'll see in a sec. The initial population is 500. The population after one day is 600. We want to know the population after seven days. And the interval is from 0 to 10. OK. If I want to find P of 7, don't I first need to find equation P? So if this is my rate formula, could I rewrite this as a differential? I could first rewrite it as a differential. Now, to get P by itself, can I integrate both sides? If I integrate both sides, do you see how the D is going to drop off the P? No, actually, I shouldn't say that. What's the integral of 1 dp? It's simply going to be p plus c. We're not going to worry about the plus c. We're going to put it to the right. So the integral of dp, 1 dp, is p, just like the integral of dx is x. OK, the integral of this one, well, k is a constant. Can I push the k out front? I'm going to push the k out front. I'm going to change t to the 1 half. Now, k is a constant. It's a number. We can just push it out. Now, can we integrate t here, dt? Yeah. So p is going to be k. And the integral of t to the 1 half, well, add 1 to 1 half, you get 3 halves. Divide by that, you get that might have threw some of you for a loop. Because when you divide by 3 over 2, you get 2 thirds. And then you have plus c. OK. Now, I want to plug in 7. Well, if I plug in 7 for t, I still have a k here that's annoying, isn't it? Um, OK, that doesn't help me very much. Correct? But could I? Looking at these two, could I plug in 0 real quick at 500 and find out like C and K? Watch. If I plug, here's my equation. It's a good equation. I have a C, a T, and a K. Oh, crud. But let's look at this. 500 is your P. K, we don't know K. We know we have 2 thirds. T is 0. We have some constant. Are we OK so far? What does this equal? 0. What's 0 times k? Oh, that's nice. What happens to k? It's gone. So what's C? You guys got me? Yeah. K disappears, luckily. Thus, I know C. So do I now have a new equation? Yeah. My new equation is P of, can I put P of T just so I can plug in T's? Is that OK? P of T is equal to, and I'll put the 2 in front, the 2K, T to the 3 over 2. Not that, plus 500. Isn't that C? There's our equation. OK. Well, that doesn't help me. Can I plug in 7? Yeah, but I still got a K. Don't. Any ideas? Well, watch this. Why is this here? Well, could I put 1 and 600 in and find K? Got it? Oh, OK, that's why that's there. I was wondering why that was there. So we go and put 600 here. We put 2, 3, and what's k again? We don't know. That's what we're trying to find. But what's t? Then t1. All righty. So it looks like I have uh, 600 equals, that becomes 1, so doesn't that make, look like a two-thirds k plus 500. 
And then if we solve that, looks like we have uh, minus the 500 over. Looks like we have 100 equals 2k over 3. Can we make a proportion out of it or the multiply by 3 over 2? There's multiple ways to solve that. Basically, it looks like we're going to get k equaling um, 300 over 2. 300 divided by 2 is 150. Looks like we're going to get k is 150. Oh, I got a new equation. It's kind of a long problem, but it's a very good AP style question. So what's k? 150, right? So I got 2 times 150, t to the 3 over 2, divided by 3, plus 500. Well, isn't that going to be 300 divided by 3? So now don't we have P of T equals 100? T to the 3 over 2 plus 500. Now, what's our last problem? We're asking to plug in 7. So P of 7 looks like it's going to be 100 times 7 to the 3 over 2 plus 500. And could we calculate that with a calculator? Without a calculator, yuck. With a calculator, we're done. I'm actually just going to put that as my answer because I don't have a calculator with me. If I had a calculator, I'd find it.